All right, guys. Welcome back. Um, just got my table built, and before I do anything else, well, as I was building my table, uh, the mailman came, dropped off something in the mail, and I opened it up, and this is what it was. It was this uh, power bank I ordered on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid like five dollars or eight dollars for it. It's a five volt, two thousand six hundred milliamp hour power bank. Uh, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna open this up. It's a Co Casso power bank. There's the normal USB wire it comes with. It says in DC 5 volt, out DC 5 volt. So if you're charging it, you charge it with this end. If you're using it, you use it with this end. So simple. Um, I'm sure it's already got somewhat of a charge on it. It's got like a little plastic cover. All right, so mainly the reason why I bought this was not to charge my phone, but to have a little power bank for um, a soldering iron. I wanted to buy a USB soldering iron because I've seen them online and they're not very many watts, but I was gonna buy one and hook it up to this so I'd have a portable soldering iron. Well, I kind of seen some reviews online on those afterwards and I, they started looking kind of poor. So I already had this Radio Shack uh, AA powered. It's a battery powered, uh, you know, soldering iron. You hold it down and the tip gets hot. But it eats batteries up like crazy. And I was just thinking, well, instead of buying a USB powered one, why don't I just uh, convert this one to run off of this bank that I just bought, this power bank I just bought. So it's basically what I'm gonna do. I mean, this runs on about six volts to five volts now, you know, on some regular AA batteries. And it, like I said, it just eats them up fast and you can't, you know, these aren't rechargeable, so it's just a pain in the ass. It gets expensive running this thing. So, let's go ahead and convert it. It's really neat tip it has. It, it's almost like a light bulb. It just screws into there. It's basically what this is. They made like a light bulb. Is like holding it together, this black part of it. There. Oh, now it reveals more screws. So that's the circuitry inside. Very simple. Switch up here on top, push button switch. So what I'll do is just solder wires here to the contacts and then just run the wire down through here and out the back. Basically just like this. I'll cut the leads on this and run it on the inside like that.
shit. The delicate wires. Fuck, I just cut it again. this power bank is it doesn't have a switch to turn it on I recommend never getting one that takes a switch because then they'll automatically turn off on you if you don't have the proper amount of uh, wattage going across it just gets to be a pain so plug this in put it on DC here battery test we'll do uh, six volt load test this is actually the black one and this is the red one can't really see it okay we're reading 3.6 volts so we must have got the right ones definitely needs charged huh I think I'll solder right here take these right off. No, well, on that one I can. And the other one I can't do that. I, can't. I have to solder it directly on up here. Looks like I might have to strip this a little bit more. Try not to cut it too deep. sure I didn't cut it, cut the other lines. Okay. So I'll do is I'll run the black one there. stuck through. Now we can add some solder to it. So on the other side maybe. solder it to that piece.
I'm gonna take these two extra wires and use them to actually hold it in. So I'm gonna slide all the wires down into that groove and take these extra two wires and actually tie a knot on them so that it can't pull out and slip past them. Like so. I probably should come in here with a hot glue gun and just tack all that down, but I will show you guys up close up what I did. I soldered the positive to here. I soldered the negative to there. Stuck it in that little groove there and put a knot there so it can't pull back out. I ran the wire down the battery channel. And we'll put the case back together. But you could hear those geese passing by. All right, so there it is. I, I'll put a slit in here somewhere for this wire to come out the back. But let's test it out and see if it works. Plug this in. light so let's see no melting so far still no melting there it is it's hot enough to melt solder It's smoking. I could do some soldering right now. That is cool. That worked out pretty good. Now I got a portable soldering iron.
there. I put a knot. I put a knot in line of the wire, and then put it down in there a little bit, and then in that way, it just cannot uh, pull it, pull out. You know, past that knot. So there it is. It's a portable soldering iron that will last and can handle some decent sized soldering jobs. Alright, if you guys like that little video or conversion, share it with your friends, subscribe, more videos to come. Cheers.